with the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler poly menu. Locate the inset action. With the inset action selected, you'll see a series of targets and then some modifiers down at the bottom. The inset action will allow you to come through and inset a poly on an existing face or surface. So if I hover over this poly here and simply click and drag, you'll notice that I get an insetted face in that actual poly there. This action also has a few modifiers that are really interesting. So if I hit spacebar again to open up my Z modeler poly menu, let's come down here to the modifier and select border only. With border only, when you actually click and drag, you'll notice that the inner poly that is generated is now removed and you just are left with the outer border. This works really well when using targets like Flat Island. So now I can come across this Flat Island and simply click and it'll come through and inset every single one of those polys, giving me a nice kind of window design. Another option this has is to only do the center as well. So instead of just the border, it will also only do the center. So coming across and clicking, and now you can see I get only the center polygon created when I actually apply the action. Another option you have, instead of just insetting each poly, you can also inset an entire region. So with the target still set to Flat Island, if I come over and just click on this Flat Island now, you'll see it is going to inset the outer edge and not each individual poly. So this will allow you to come through and inset large areas of your model. And you can also use this inset option with border and center as well. So if I didn't want the center and only want the border, just come across the poly and then click and drag and you're going to see that flat island has now been inset and I'm only receiving the border polygons. Another target that works really well with this feature is the all polygons target. So if I set this to all polygons and I'm going to change this back to inset each poly. Now if I come and click on my model here, it's going to actually inset all the polygons on my model. And this gives you a nice kind of cage kind of effect. You can then come through with say the Q mesh and all polygons, and then just simply add thickness to your entire model and get interesting designs like so.